This is Sean Plouffe, Hitterist.com. This is not your average hitting analysis. You will not hear me say swing down, foot down early, and there will be no squishing of the bug. Today we're going to take a look at Josh Donaldson and try to get an idea for how he was able to go from basically a minor league player to a major league all-star. And it all lies in the swing mechanic changes that he was able to make uh, with the help of Bobby Tewksbury and AB Athletics. Uh, so here what I noticed is the action of the bat is completely different than uh, when he played uh, early on in his career. And what you're seeing is a lot more uh, movement, a lot more action in the barrel, and he's able to get on plane really consistently in square baseballs. You see it start in the tip position all the way back down here into the plane of the pitch, and he's able to square the baseball consistently. Um, he's a guy that added a leg kick and really started to get going towards the ball a little bit more. Much bigger actions, much bigger swing, and uh, a lot more aggressive approach overall. And this is just a testament to what can happen when someone with this kind of talent applies the uh, characteristics of the great hitters. Um, this is what you get, is, is one of the better hitters in the major leagues. And it's a shame that more guys don't don't do this. You know, there's plenty of information out there, and guys are just ignoring it, or they uh, haven't been exposed to it, or you know, they have their own preconceptions about what the swing should be and how to maximize their potential. But uh, it's a credit to Josh to humble himself and to understand that he could be better than he was. Here's the next clip here. Let's take a look. Huge leg kick, bat tip, and he's still able to get to this ball in the inner half. And of course, it probably went for a home run. Uh, really nice actions. He's able to pull the elbow back, and I'm looking at the elbow draw back towards the dugout behind him. And you see a lot of tension there between the elbow and the back leg. You see he's pretty much at his range of motion back there. And from there, he's able to connect that energy he's producing with the back leg to the barrel of the bat. And ultimately, it's the barrel of the bat that needs to go fast, nothing else. Here's a side-by-side, -side, excuse me, here's the next clip of him. He's able to take this pitch down and in, still get behind it and drive it. He's getting to the same positions every single time. You see bat tipped, elbow up and back, and he's able to kind of swing this triangle that he's made with his arms. Uh, you can learn more about that in my video guide, but here's here's the side-by-side -side view. Uh, early one on the left, obviously. You can see the movement in the barrel and the loading action of his body. He's kind of going from zero here. He's holding the bat out of 45, hands right at the shoulder. There's nothing wrong with the hands of the shoulder, but you see the elbow doesn't really draw back. Uh, he kind of keeps it down and just kind of swings, in my opinion, from, you know, really a position where he's only using maybe 60% of what he's capable of. And on the right, he's really loading up and he's taking a swing that's going to produce the most bat speed that he's capable of producing. And ultimately, when you hit the ball harder, you're going you're gonna to get more home runs and you uh, hit for a better average. So both of those things ring true here. And uh, props to him for being able to make these changes and uh, really become one of the best hitters in baseball. Again, this is Sean Plouffe, Hitterist.com. Catch you next time. If I die, I'm a legend When they lay me down to rest I know I was always repping Oh my God, my whole life My words been my greatest weapon I know I, I know I Been the coast's greatest blessing